Hey everybody, Liddy Fiedler here for the Hero Arts blog, and I have a fun little card today featuring this adorable Fawn and Friends stamp set with all these cute little critters in it. I chose the owl because I can't resist an owl, and I'm going to show you a fun trick with infinity dies. So I have two colors of yellow ink here. I have Butter Bar and Dandelion, and I will be adding a third color, Orange Soda. And I've already stamped and die cut my little owl. Now you can see I've chosen five circle infinity dies, and I've numbered each one of the ones that I cut out of a piece of masking paper, as well as the corresponding negative space of the masking paper. You want to save this because we're going to be using these two things together. And the numbering is very important, as you'll see when I make a huge mistake later on <laughs> by not paying attention to the numbers. But I make mistakes so that you don't have to. So I'm finding the center just roughly. There's no need to be super precise about it. I'm going to be cutting this little vortex out, but I'm also going to be showing you how to make this a single layer card. So starting with your smallest circle's negative space, you want to remove the backing paper from your masking paper of choice and put it down on your card front. Now you can center it if you're making a one layer card. Again, I'm cutting mine out, so it doesn't really matter. Then just take an ink blending tool, and I'm using Butter Bar for the first color, and you will fill in all of circle number one. I like ink blending for this technique because I can get a little variation in there, and I think it makes the little vortexes more interesting. Now take the mask portion that's labeled number one, and put that down on top of your inked circle, and place the negative space for number two around that. Alternating colors to the dandelion. I will brush ink around that circle, then take the mask for number two, put that down, and position the mask for number three around that. Or if you're not paying attention, like me, place the mask for number four around it and <laughs> fix it later. Either way, it all works out. There's always a happy ending in stamping. So you'd think I would have noticed that it was so much wider, but oops, I didn't notice until right there, but I know how to fix it, so it's okay. So put the number four mask down to mask off that whole circle, and we'll go ahead and complete number five before fixing what I messed up on number three. If you were using a one layer card, mask off the extra portions of your cardstock if needed, like I just showed you with the post-it tape to prevent stray ink. I'm cutting mine out, but I did wanna show you both ways. So remove the number four and then bring in the number three mask and put that down and then mask number two, don't forget that part, before adding a third color, which is orange soda, to number three. Easy peasy fix. So now I have an alternating fun little vortex that I can put my owl against. Now I'll show you the way to do it if you wanted this just to be a single layer card on your card base. So let's say you wanted the opening through the front of the card and you wanted the little vortex in the owl on the inside, but you wanted to figure out how to line that up, which can be a little bit tricky if you've already done your masking and ink blending. Well, I'll show you how to do that. It's super easy. All you need is a piece of post-it tape. So you know about where you want it, but you can't get it precise without this little trick. So put the die down, cutting side up, and then grab a few pieces of post-it tape or masking tape, whatever you like to use, and put that sticky side up underneath the die. And just to be on the safe side, I would use two of these, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the circle opening in my card front this way, just to show you how easy this is. So now it's stuck in the right place on the card front, and I can just remove that. And since dies make sort of a finish cut on one side, and a rougher cut on the other. If you wanna see the finished part on the outside of the card, just flip the card inside out, and now the pretty side is on the card front. So that's what it would look like if you just wanted to stick that card panel down inside your card. I wanted a little dimension, so I'm actually going to use the number five die to cut this entire thing out, and then I'll pop it up coming from the inside of the card. 
when you're adding little foam dots to these elements that you want to kind of pop out through the window on the front of the card, I would make sure you have good coverage so they stand up to the pressure of going through the mail system and all those sorting machines. So yes, I use six of them, but it's not excessive, I promise. So once that is all set, I will center the dimensional little vortex image inside the card and the owl is going to be on the outside of the card. So it's just an interesting way to make a fun little scene. I'm coloring the owl very simply. A coloring expert I am not, but I'll show you some simple tips for just easy and quick coloring, not something that's going to take you all afternoon. First, I put down just a base color, and I don't even bother with swatching or any of that. I just, you know, make a little scribble on a piece of paper, sort of pick them by the color of the caps, and then see if they're right. So I color the entire owl with my lightest color of brown. And then I'll scribble and see if I like this color, and I do. And I'll grab a second darker color and just very quickly color the edges of the bird, the parts that are sort of curving away from you, and then areas that would be recessed, like his little eye sockets, and underneath his chin. Gives you a great look of shading without a ton of work or expertise. Then I take a reddish brown and I just make little flick marks around the edges. I do this on all bird images because it sort of enhances the idea of feathers. Gives you a little bit of texture, but again, it doesn't take a lot of technique or skill. Finally, I tried out a couple colors. What I really wanted to do was coordinate with the yellows in the vortex, so I found a good yellow that I could color his beak and his feet that would sort of tie both of these images together. Color those very quickly. As you can see, this is a very fast card to make. Now decide where you want the owl on the outside of the card and then just make sure you're only putting adhesive in that area so you're not <laughs> accidentally gluing your card closed. And then position that owl over that window so that that sort of sun looking image is behind him. And that's popped up from inside of the card and it's dimensional for such a cute little scene. So here's my little guy sitting in front of his son with a few sequins. And then on the inside, I put the sentiment from the set that says, Wishing You Joy. Thanks so much for watching.